Hello and um, welcome to this talk physics hangout um, on solid bowl particle accelerators. I do apologise for the slight delay. Um, I was having one or two technical issues which I think have been solved. So thank you for tuning in and watching. Tonight we're going to make together, Blue Peter style hopefully, a solid bowl particle accelerator like this. Here's one I made earlier. As you can see, it's a plastic bowl with some aluminium foil stuck in a particular shape. It's connected up to an EHT supply, although you can also use um, a Van de Graaff generator and it's better to do that actually, it works better, but I couldn't bring one home with me to do on my dining room table. And the ball going round and round in circles in the middle there is a polystyrene ball that's coated in conducting paint. So that is what we're going to make. It's a really good teaching tool that I in particular use with sixth form. Um, in lower six when we start the course and we look at particle accelerators and different types of particle and then again at A2 level when we consider electric fields and magnetic fields and circular motion and uh, how those three things interlink together to, to accelerate particles and make them move round and round in circles. So the first step in constructing our particle accelerator is to use a polystyrene ball and to coat it with a uh, conducting paints. Now the polystyrene balls and all the parts that you need to do this I have um, put a list on the talk physics page that shows you where to get them from. Most are available from Rapid Electronics although other other suppliers will, will sell similar things. Now the way that I coat my polystyrene balls is to use a bit of plasticine and a cocktail stick, stick the polystyrene ball on the end and then um, I spray paint them. So the spray paint that I use is, uh, is this stuff, graphite 33 it is a conductive coating made of graphite and so it's a black um, it's a black paint essentially is what it is I'm now going to attempt to show you uh, me spray painting it because if I uh, if I do this on the kitchen table I'm going to get shot by my wife so for the sake of my marriage I'm going to do this outside uh, if I can I do have a camera set up outside so you can all be entertained watching me do that I'm just wondering how I do that so I'm just bear with me one second uh, no nope, that wasn't the right button to press don't quite know what I have done there there is a button that will allow me to do it somewhere but I can't remember where it is ah here we go there let's see what happens if I do this ah there you go you see the outside of my house so here we go I'm going to spray paint my take a moment or two to dry and if I now go back to the other camera I've forgotten how I did that now let's just see there we go yes I think that's back well done we made it that's great so I'm just going to turn off the ball that's going round and round and now is the time for all of us if you're following along at home to get your plastic bowl and we will make together so first of all you need a plastic bowl now the shape that you're aiming for if i look at show you the one that here's one we made earlier the shape is a very particular shape it looks a bit like a union flag so we're aiming to stick aluminium foil in a cross shape across the middle of the plastic bowl and just notice that the aluminium foil across the middle doesn't go over the edge look can you see that it doesn't go over the edge of the plastic bowl in none of the four places that it touches and in one of the four places I've left a little tab by leaving the backing on the self adhesive aluminium foil so that um, it makes it easier to attach a crocodile clip to when you want to use it and then the diagonals that you can see here I've made slightly thinner and they do go over the lip and they go over and they touch the back of the plastic bowl and they actually touch a rim that you make another layer of aluminium foil that goes all the way round the bowl so all four of those thinner diagonal if you like strips touch the foil going around the outside but none of the thicker strips do the same so the idea being that we uh, we charge the 
strips alternately. So let's just imagine for a second that we make this one with the tab positive. That makes all of the cross positively charged. And then we make the uh, this one here, this thinner diagonal negative. And that, because it's connected via the, um, the strip running around the outside, all of the thinner diagonal strips also become negative. And what that means is when we put the conducting ball in there, it touches a strip. If it touches one of the thicker ones, it will, oops, it will in our case become positive. As it becomes positively charged, this conducting ball, it will repel from there, it will move away, and it will be attracted to the negative of the next strip. But as soon as it touches that, it will become negative and be repelled and then attracted to the next one and so on and so forth. And it will, it will, it will spin as it goes around there. So let's do that. Now I've pre-cut some strips, so hopefully I can do this reasonably quickly whilst we're going along. I find it helps if you if you do it um, with the cross in the middle first, and then you do the strip around the outside, and then you do the diagonals last. But uh, I'm sure other people will have different opinions as to what is best. So here's my strip of foil. It has got um, a sticky back. It makes it a lot easier if you get stuff with sticky back. So if I uh, now move to a the view that you can you can watch me attempt to do this reasonably quickly with an audience which uh, hopefully i will be able to do in fact, I'll, I'll do it like this how i i know i can so again if you're trying to stick the foil you don't don't worry about the uh, the foil going right up to the edge of the bowl um because it's not going to go over the edge so you just stick it in and then if you gradually peel off the backing as you stick it it makes life slightly easier obviously it needs to go up through the middle of the bowl if you can and there we go there's my first bit my second bit is going to go across at right angles to the first bit here it comes Let's get the end of it there and again now this is the bit i'm going to leave a tab on the end of this bit to allow making make my crocodile clip attachment a bit in a bit a bit easier so to make the tab i'm just going to pull it off nearly to the end and then get some scissors and just snip it off just before oops <laughs> i've done that wrong never mind if you do make a mistake and do it wrong like i just did it's okay you can make yourself a little tab just pull it back a little bit and get a little strip of the paper backing and stick it to it like that and that just makes a nice little tab that you can uh, attach your crocodile clip to later next thing i'm going to do is go around the edge so i've got my um my long strip for going around the edge just let me explain to you how you buy this stuff by the way just in case you're wondering i buy it in these uh, these thick long strips it's really really long roll about 30 meters long it's very very cheap off ebay or you can buy it from uh, amazon or or rapid electronics and different plate different companies like that so what i do is the strips that the cross strips across the middle they are half the width that i buy here they're half of that width the narrower diagonal strips are a quarter of that width and the, the long strip that goes around the edge is also a half a half the width it just makes life a little bit simpler and easier so here's my here's my really really long strip to go around the edge and um it goes like this so again this is a bit trickier to do because what you have to do i hope you can see it on the camera there is it just goes below the lip it doesn't really matter how far below just a centimeter will be absolutely fine but it's going to be creased as you do this because you're following the contour trying to keep it level as you go all the way around and hopefully the tape will meet where you started in the end doesn't matter if it overlaps, doesn't matter if you rip it, you can always join it with another small bit of uh, of the aluminium foil tape. So mine's going around there. I'm doing this quite quickly and not particularly neatly. I do apologise. So I've done that and I've ripped it a bit too early. So I'm actually going to uh, put another smaller bit and just make sure they're, they're linked up just nicely. Can you see just there? I've made a small, small error. So to fix that. I'll just get another bit of the aluminium tape and stick it across to make sure there's a good connection. And then finally, I'm going to get my thinner strips, a quarter of the a quarter of the thickness of the original tape, and I'm going to stick those now in the uh, diagonals. If I can do this the wrong way around on the camera, probably not. There it goes down there to here. Now, when you do this, it's quite good if you can leave about a centimeter in the middle between your thinner bit and under thicker bits so if that doesn't make sense then just watch what i'm going to do now 
I could untangle myself and so you can see it on the camera. Can you see if I stick it just there and then stick it into the tube all the way over the top and so it sticks down to the room on the outside. Can you see there's about a centimetre here and about a centimetre here? That seems to work quite well. And again, about a centimetre or maybe a bit more than a centimetre from, from the middle there. The aluminium foil goes all the way over the edge and it touches the, uh, the layer that you've put all the way around the outside. So you need to repeat that again for the other gaps in your cross. So do the next one. It's actually quite a quick and easy thing to make. And um, I've done it as a workshop before where, where students have made it. As, I did it as a sort of a gifted and talented optional extra for a group of a group of six formers and they enjoyed they very much enjoyed the do-it-yourself making aspect but I must say normally in school I just have one that I use and um, we do it as a together as a class as a demonstration but it is it is one of those things it is cheap it is quick it is it is pretty easy and it does work pretty reliably as hopefully you will see in a moment So all the way over the edge again, so it's touching the room on the end there. And the last one, just it down the other side. And the last one goes like this. Uh, that's all twisted. Here we go. If you're making this along with me, I hope you're having as much fun as I have. Uh, there it is. So I'm done, and you can see it's not quite as neat as my earlier one because it's uh, it's hard to do it quickly and, and on camera. But there we go. So it's all done. Now, next thing I'm going to do is connect it up. So if you look at my look at my EHG supply, just uh, this is the one from school that I've just borrowed and brought home for the evening. And uh, you can see I have just uh, connected the negative here. I've connected a wire from the negative to the earth for safety and I have uh, I've got my wire with the crocodile clip on and I'm going to connect it to the um, which one shall I do where's my tab there it is there's my tab just here I'm going to connect the diagonals the thinner strips to my negative and I'm going to connect the other one to positive to the tab that I've got here so can you see it's connected up just there I'm going to retrieve my conducting ball from the garden where it will have dried in the last few minutes whilst we've been making the rest of it. It dries very quickly. Here it is. You can see covered and dry in the paint. Put that in there. The other implement you may need at the moment is we're going to apply a, a large positive uh, potential to the cross in the middle there about 5000 volts so if you if you want to give it a kick start to help it go you're going to need an insulating implement rather than your finger if you want to avoid getting an electric shock so i'm using a wooden spoon handle here uh, and then i'm going to switch it on and, and hopefully off we go so mains on eht on and then if i move this to the side if i turn the turn the dial hopefully you can see the uh, indicator rising i'm going to take it up to five kilovolts and then give it a bit of a quick go round and hopefully you can see it works and so the ball is accelerated around that actually it's shorting out a little bit i've not got I've, i didn't do it very neatly if you do it more neatly it it goes around in a more regular circle there it goes it's got got itself going and there we have it i hope you enjoyed making that with me it's uh, it's a fun thing to do and my name is dan cottle and this is talk physics and this is the second of these online workshops that we've done if you've got any questions at all about how to do it or you'd like to discuss further about how to use it or where to get any of the materials or anything like that really then please continue the conversation on talk physics in the forums which you'll find underneath this video and uh, we'd be delighted to help you and to answer any questions that you've got. We'll be around for about the next half hour for you to join in 
and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy using it and hopefully I'll see you again at another one of these um, online CPD sessions. Thank you very much and bye-bye.